I I got a phone call <laughs> and then it all went black so but the good news is I kind of got the drawing farther along so I'm gonna show you what I did right okay and I wasn't enjoying my hair so <laughs> a little quarantine style for me so I fixed it all right okay so this is what I have done so far. This is the line drawing that I started with. This is the one I did with you. And I went ahead and I added my value. So remember pushing and pulling. So I made sure that I started out with my mid-tone. I'm gonna flip back and forth a little bit. Yep. Started out with my mid-tone so I didn't add too much salt, right? Right, good, okay. And then I added the striations. So I don't know if you can see the striations or not. I think you can kind of see them on here, yeah? I think so. So you kind of want the shading to show. That's what I was talking about yesterday when I'm gonna show you to do something different. Because I do want you to have like a, a, a value scale that's really um, subtle and it's blended well, but since the form and function of this is that the rose opens up, you want some of these striations to show. You just do, that's how it goes, right? All right, so I'm pretty much thinking, I'm liking how this looks. I changed it up a little bit because I, drew it upside down and I realized it was a little bit wonky. <laughs> so just make sure that when you're doing this drawing that you make sure you have a full value scale and you don't start too dark, right? Um, and then you build that way. That's just kind of how I do it. So uh, let's see. I'm gonna look at, look at the drawing online. Yeah, I think it's all right. Um, for this drawing, what I did though was, first drawing, I was gonna show you. For this drawing, what I did was I outlined it in Sharpie. I've been doing that a lot in my own. Oh, I forgot to do a lot of things. I'm not done yet. <laughs> Sorry. I got in that whole right side of my brain and I completely forgot. I didn't, I didn't do the leaves and I didn't do the thorns and I didn't even shade this. Hello. And I didn't even use my Sharpie. So what I do, and you don't have to do this stuff, but I kind of like the way it looks is I outline it. I don't know. There's a little bit of, I like, I just make, I think it makes it look crisper, but you know, you don't have to do it, but I, I think it looks cool. So what I do is I just take some time and I'm not going to do it right now because it's going to take too much time. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and draw some thorns on here. Like, oh, well, thorns like this, prickly thorns. And then you're going to notice that you have this line in here. You're going to want to erase that, I think, because it's a guideline. I forgot to tell you, draw it like with feather fingers. Because when I'm drawing, you know, and I know it's going to be a guideline and it's going to be erased, I usually draw it like super duper light, but I wanted you guys to see it. So I had to kind of draw it a little bit heavier. So then you're just going to go back in and like fix where you erased it out, right? Okay. And then you can just go ahead and shade the braid kind of like we shaded it yesterday. Um, so remember that there's an overlap, so there's gonna be a little darker piece like underneath the braid because you want it to feel overlap, so it's a push and it's a pull, right? So push, pull, push, pull. Push back with shade and pull forward with light. So as soon as you put a tiny little shadow behind where it's overlapped right there, it's gonna kinda of start to make it feel like it um, pops forward, okay? All right. And let's see, what else? What else? <laughs> I know I'm forgetting stuff. I feel like I'm drawing forever and it's really hard to get out of that right. If you ever really get into drawing, you're gonna find there's like a whole world inside your head you didn't even know was there. <laughs> and you will spend hours in there. And the cool thing is, like when I'm drawing a lot, I get ideas in my head and then I draw them. I can draw stuff out of my head. It's like little worlds that come alive. If you spend enough time in your right brain, there's some stuff in there, man. I'm telling you, don't underestimate the power of the right brainers because we are the people who are, you know, inventing light bulbs. <laughs> I'm just saying. All right. I don't know what else to tell you. I guess for this drawing, um, oh, what I was gonna say is I kind of think I made a little bit of a mistake with this drawing, but I kind of embraced it. We're gonna call it like a little happy accident. You know how, like happy trees? This is a little happy accident. <laughs> It's because if, if you compare this drawing to the first drawing that I did, which is fine. They're both pretty good. I don't mind them. I mean, they're all right. No big deal. Um, I didn't put as many, uh, what, did the, what did I call them? Implied lines. So I put some and then I did it more randomly. So I think this might look like more like a natural rose because here's the implied line, but I didn't put it everywhere. And when I drew this one today, I kind of put it everywhere, <laughs> you know, go big or go home. That's what I would say. But so I kind of decided that it looks like one of those roses that are a little bit tipped. So like they have a white tip and I'm like, yeah, that looks good. I'm going to go with that. So in my mind, that's kind of how it turned out. But 
I think it's all right. So I think just as long as you have the striations in, in like places on larger pieces, it's gonna feel like that form and function piece where it's gonna feel like a rose, right? <laughs> it's a cabbage rose. I think it looks like a cabbage rose. My son said it looked like a cabbage and I said, well, it's a cabbage rose because there are such a thing as cabbage roses. And it's an Irish knot and we eat cabbage. I can say that in all honesty, I love cabbage. So I drew a cabbage rose <laughs> just because it ended up that way, but that's okay. I mean, like that's the cool thing I think about art is like, don't go always into it with this idea of exactly how it's going to look. It will look this way and it will look this way, whether it wants to look this way or not, because I said so. But don't do that because then you're, you know, you're kind of forgetting about the little journey that happens. And that's the fun part. Like if you can kind of just like get into drawing and I'm just going to sketch for a minute and then I'm going to say goodbye because I am just a bunch of blah, blah today. I'm sorry. I'm just saying when you get into that right mode of your brain, literally like the phone rang and then I looked at my hair and then I got a little distracted because it took me a minute to like snap out of it, like snap out of it <laughs> because I couldn't because I was like completely there and, and it's really a cool thing. I mean, it's a cool piece of art that maybe some pe people don't talk about very often, but it does happen. I mean, that creativity happens when you are kind of lost in your own little world and your own thoughts and it's kind of awesome. I'm just telling you, I forgot to add the leaves, sorry. <laughs> Sorry, pull the leaf out, like that. Oh, and you know, leaves are jiggity, right? They have the jaggedy edges, I always forget that. Roses are pretty dangerous, really. There you go, and lines in, and then just shade it up, no big deal. If I want this leaf to feel like this side's back, I would probably shade this back because dark values push back and light values come forward. So if I want this to feel like it's turned in space and this leaf is actually behind this one, I'd probably make it a little darker, right? Does that make sense? And then I'll pull the leaf out. I swear, I'm so sorry I'm doing that Geico lady. I don't, <laughs> I was on the phone, my friend this morning, and I started doing that voice and she got stuck in my brain. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I promise not to do it again. Okay, so again, like this leaf is back. Can you even see what I'm doing? I'm not even checked. You know, sometimes I wish my right, my left brain would like speak up a little. <laughs> like, ahem, I'm here and you need to organize and do the dishes and the laundry and why are you still sketching? Yeah, she needs to say more. <laughs> okay, so I wanted this leaf to push back. So of course I used my darker value to push it back and that automatically pushes this one forward. And then my dark values automatically make this feel layered because light comes forward and dark goes back. I think we're done. Um, and like I said, if you want to, I can't find my Sharpie right now, of course, but it's right here. If you want to outline this in Sharpie, it looks good. I like it. That's just the way I draw. You make some choices. You can do it, whatever you like. You try, okay? All right, so. That's that. <laughs> okay. I will see you soon. Bye.